in the car. I think I'm going to go to First Watch to have breakfast. Well, brunch, lunch. It's almost 12. I took the day off. I'm going to sit down a little later, kind of update you guys on what I've been doing. But let's go have some breakfast. And like I said, do a few errands and get caught up. Okay, we are at first watch. I don't know how much of this music is playing. I have my earbuds in. I got the farmhouse scramble. They didn't quite cook the eggs right, but it's good. I'm a granite sunrise, so I'm going to sit here and enjoy. We have ate really good. I am now at TJ Maxx. Super cute denim jacket. This is the medium. I kind of think I like the small better. Some shorts to try and then top in. That's about it, but just wearing today this cropped sweat leather kind of cropped pants, Gucci socks, and loafers, and my Chanel bag. But just relax, I'm trying to burn off some breakfast. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, real quick before I run out the door, I wanted to share and show a purchase that I made that I'm going to return. Reason being, I love them, but I think I think I wanted them more so because I couldn't get them. And then they came available, I got the alert. So I thought, oh, let me get them, make sure because I probably won't get to get them again, but let me stop rambling. Comes in this big, huge bag. But just in case somebody else out there is wondering about them, put yourself on the notify checklist and they will get back to you. So, as you see, it's a shoe box, super, super big pair of boots. And they are the long sock boots. Super, super cute. Love the black going up the back there. Not too bad of a heel. Oh, I'm going to talk myself into keeping them. And the reason I'm returning them is uh, I'm struggling a little bit on how I would wear them. My first thought was to wear them with a dress that I have, but it's the um, traditional check. And so, and I didn't even realize it when I purchased them. And then too, I just really want to be able to wear them with several items and not just, you know, like one dress or whatever. And I know they'll go with, you know, nudes and blacks really, really easy. And then, too, after I really thought about it, for it to be a sock boot, as you can see, it's all like the sock-like material. The only thing that's leather is this part here. They're kind of on the pricey side. But the sales associates, when I was looking into purchasing them, them before, had told me to size up because they run small. I did get my normal size, which is a 41. They seem to fit fine. What I do really like about them, being a sock boot, my legs tend to be smaller. So boots kind of tend to, my legs look funny in some boots, you know, being big. So these are fitted around my leg. Now, uh, since they stretch, they would be fine if you have big legs, thicker legs. So I think they would go either way. So you'll be safe there. I'm going to try them on just to let you see how they fit. They fit just above my knee. So super, super cute. So uh, I think if you're looking into buying them, if you get on the notify list and get them, it's not a bad purchase. But just for me, uh, I think I would prefer to invest that money in something else. But super, super cute. Love this uh, pattern. Pretty much love the way they fit. But 
just not for me. So I'm just gonna hold out and who knows, um, hopefully closer to the end of the year, I'll probably, hopefully go on a trip to London. And if I come across them, maybe at a cheaper price, you know, saving the tax and getting them cheaper, maybe, but hopefully it's not a regret. So let me know if you have these, what you think of them, whatnot. Like I said, uh, I meant to take you guys with me yesterday when I got the phone call to pick them up, but I just grabbed them real fast, came home and took a nap. Been on granny duty and just busy, busy. So it, I'm just, I've been worn out, but we're gonna get back into some of that a little later. I just want to pop on and show you guys those boots before I took them back. I also did my Sephora pickup, which you guys let me know in the comment if you uh, purchase anything from the Sephora sale. I didn't go crazy with that either. What I did purchase was the Tatcha rice wash. I had a little sample, maybe even a birthday sample that I hadn't used, but I pulled it out when I think uh, when I did the Mexico trip, I took the little sample of the rice wash and the cream with me and fell in love with that. So I did purchase the four ounce of the wash during the VIP sale and also the Tasha Dewy Skin Cream. So those were the two items I purchased. Um, and this one, super cute it was like one of the limited edition um jaws that is in so 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 cute has the little spatula on top there for you to use so love this so again i know the sale i think yesterday monday was the last sale so let me know what you guys purchased i love seeing all the goodies and like i said i was trying to be a little bit more strategic in picking items and not just go crazy because you know it's easy to do so. I also stopped by TJ Maxx. Love, love, love the runway area in TJ Maxx and came across this super cute pair of glasses. They have a little bit of a tint on them, but I love them because they don't have the little piece there that will hurt your nose. Kind of have the red and green. Um, these are Gucci, so it has the little Gucci emblem on each side. So, love these. See, kind of a blue tint in them. So, super cute. Put on my Gucci earrings to kind of go along with them. And then the last little thing I grabbed when I was in TJ Maxx like I needed it but another denim jacket so super cute love this because of the way the collar is made cuffed not cuffed but cropped just a little bit I wasn't for sure sure what size I want so I just got the medium so they're probably made, I mean the small, so they're probably made to be a little oversized. So I thought that was so, so cute. Love how big these pockets are on there. So check out your uh, TJ Maxx. You can find some super, super good deals in there. On the glasses, the only thing I didn't love about is that they did not come with the case. But if skipping the case means saving a hundred to a hundred and fifty bucks i will find another case but those are just a few items that i picked up while out yesterday again i'm gonna run take those boots back because i've had them a couple days just sitting there i've been so busy i didn't even get a chance to really see if i liked them and two i wanted to really think about them because like i said once i return them chances are i probably won't get them back so Hopefully it's not a regret. I don't think so because usually if I like something, I like it right away and, you know, start wanting to use it right away. So, and I have it with these. So, let me know. 
if you did the VIB sale at Sephora. I think it's the VIB. But let me know what you picked up from Sephora. Look at me dropping it. And if you purchased the Bedbury boots and what you think about them. And again, I'll leave a try on uh, so you can kind of see if they're on your little wish list. So put yourself on the list if they're not available in your area. Okay, hopefully you can see these. See, they fit my leg really well. I kind of don't like the way it pokes out. Kind of down at the heel part. But pretty cute. So, yeah. I think I'm going to return them. Kind of got the black at the toe. And I will say they were kind of hard to put on a little bit. I had to, since there's not a zipper or anything, you kind of pull them on like a sock. So, but yeah, they, the fit feels fine. So I would say go to your true size. But yeah, if you have any other questions on them, let me know. Mighty Meat here at Mellow Mushroom. I woke up wanting pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Yum.